Hello and welcome back to Whiskey Wars. My name is Sean and tonight we have another quick whiskey shot for you. Tonight we'll be reviewing Stonehammer, a Kroger exclusive bourbon. Let's get into it. So in case you don't know, quick whiskey shots are quick reviews of a whiskey or bourbon. And tonight we're going to be reviewing Stonehammer, a bourbon that as far as I know is exclusive to Kroger. So instead of doing a history, we'll just do a quick read over of the bottle just to see what we can find out. So let's see what the namesake is all about. U.S. Representative, Senator, and the 10th Governor of Kentucky, Thomas Metcalf, 1780 to 1855, spent the early years of his working life as a stonemason before eventually winding up in politics. Quite a transition. After Metcalf won the governorship in 1828, his opponent mocked his early trade, which earned him the nickname Old Stonehammer. As governor, Metcalf Metcalf's tough-mindedness helped him accomplish much in the way of internal improvements for Kentucky. In honor of Thomas Metcalf's dogged determination and a job well done, we proudly offer smooth, satisfying Stonehammer bourbon whiskey. So smooth and satisfying somehow relates to being dogged and determined. Those seem kind of opposite to me, but in any case, let's see what this bourbon's all about. Let's see if it is in fact smooth and satisfying. That is too much, but we'll deal with that later. It is a nice looking bottle for a budget bottle. I will say that. I think this is something like uh, 22, $23 at Kroger. Uh, so not expecting a whole lot. Let's see what we get on the nose. A strong sourness right away, I would say something like a sour apple, maybe like a Granny Smith. Maybe not quite as sour as that, maybe like a Honeycrisp. Lots of different sour notes. Also kind of a lemony zest in there. Of course, your standard caramels, brown sugars are in there as well. But those are lighter. The caramel is fairly strong and present, but the brown sugar kind of takes a back seat in this bourbon. And then maybe just a hint of like a toasted oak. A little barrel char in there. And a little vanilla. All right, let's see what we get on the taste. Okay, so first off, you definitely notice those sour notes right away on the front of the palate and mid palate. Uh, definitely something like a Granny Smith or maybe a Honeycrisp, a more sour apple than a standard apple. Uh, and then also you're getting light hints of caramel. You're also getting kind of some lemon zest in there as well. Uh, you do notice that sour oak. It isn't real prominent on the palate, but there is some sour oak notes there as well. And then as you start to get into the finish, you start to get a little more of a spice going on, maybe some pepperiness. Let's get one more sip here and see what else we can get. Okay, on that sip, I got a little more of the caramel notes, more prominent there, uh, much more of the oak on that sip as well, and uh, getting a little more barrel char notes uh, on that sip also. And then on the finish, definitely started to notice more spicy notes even than the first taste. Uh, quite a bit of cinnamon and lots of peppery notes for sure. And you definitely notice a lot of the barrel presence on the finish. So all in all, uh, not too bad. I wouldn't say it's exceptional for the price range. It's just kind of okay. I would say this is probably a better mixer than it is a neat sipper, but not too bad. So if you haven't tried Stonehammer, definitely uh, give it a try. Maybe you like the smoother, uh, more delicate, lighter notes than I do. But all in all, I think I would give this a rating of something like, I don't know, maybe a 6.2. Yeah, 6.2 seems about right uh, for the price. Nothing real special, but decent. So if you haven't tried it, give it a try. And if you're enjoying these videos, especially these shorter videos, please let us know down in the comments. And don't forget to like this video. And if you're really liking them, then definitely subscribe. And as always, folks, just remember, you can never have too much good whiskey.